Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths, and the mouths of all your people Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. <coughs> Excuse me. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohinu, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai <coughs> make his presence who then may be kind to you. May Adonai bless so favor on you and grant you peace. <sighs> Today's read is... Tetsave, I think... You shall command. And on today's read is going to be Exodus 27, 20 through 30, 10. <clears throat> you shall command the people of Israel that they bring to you poor, pure beaten olive oil for the light, that a lamp may regularly be set up to burn, and a tent of meeting outside of the veil that is before the testimony. Aaron and his sons shall tend to it from evening to morning before Yahweh. It shall be a statute forever to be observed throughout their generations by the people of Israel. Then bring, <coughs> then bring near you Aaron, and Aaron your brother and his sons with him from among the people of Israel to serve me as priests. Aaron and Aaron's sons, Nadab, Abihu, Eliezer, in Ithamar, and you shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother, for glory and for beauty, and you shall speak to all the skillful, whom I have fulfilled with the spirit of skill, that they make Aaron's garments to consecrate him for priesthood. These are the garments that you shall make, a breastpiece, an ephod, a robe, a coat of checker work, a turban, and a sash. <coughs> Excuse me. They shall make holy garments for Aaron your brother and his sons to serve me as priests. They shall receive gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet yarns, and fine twined linen. And they shall make the ephod of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet yarns, of fine twined linen, skillfully worked. <coughs> It shall have two shoulder pieces attached to its two edges, so that it may be joined together. And a skillfully woven band on it shall be made like it, and be of one piece with it, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet yarn, and fine twined linen. You shall make two onyx stones, and engrave on them the name of the sons of Israel, six of their names on the one stone, and the names of the remaining six on the other. In the order of their birth, as a jeweler engraves signets, so that you shall engrave the two stones with the names of the sons of Israel. <coughs> you shall enclose them in settings of gold filigree, and you shall set two stones on the shoulder pieces of the ephods, as stones of remembrance for the sons of Israel. And Aaron shall bear their names before Yahweh on his two shoulders for remembrance. You shall make settings of gold filigree, and two chains of pure gold, twisted like cords. And you shall attach the corded chains to the settings. You shall make a breastpiece of judgment and skilled work. And in the style of the ephod, you shall make it of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet yarns, and fine twined linen, you shall make it. It shall be squared, and doubled in span its length, and they span its breadth. And you shall set in it four rows of stones. A row of sardius, topaz, and carbuncle shall be the first row. And the second row shall be emerald, sapphire, and diamond. And the third row shall be <coughs> jacinth, and agate, and amethyst. And the fourth row, beryl, onyx, and jasper. They shall be set in gold filigree. There shall be twelve stones with their names according to the names of the sons of Israel. They shall be like signets, each engraved with its name, 
for the twelve tribes, and you shall make for the breastpiece twisted chains of cords of pure gold. And you shall make for the breastpiece two rings of gold, and put the two rings on the edges of the breastpiece. And you shall put the two cords of gold and two rings at the edges of the breastpiece. The two ends of the two cords you shall attach the two settings of filigree and attach it to the front of the shoulder piece of the E5. <coughs> you shall make two rings of gold and put them at the two ends of the breastpiece on the inside edge next to the E5. And you shall make two rings of gold and attach them to the front in front to the lower part of the two shoulder pieces of the ephod as it's at its seam above the skillfully woven band of the ephod and they shall bind the breast piece by its rings to the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue so that it may lie on the skillfully woven band of the ephod so that the breast, breast piece may not come loose from the ephod so Aaron shall bear the names of the sons of Israel in the breast piece of judgment on, on his heart when he goes into the holy pray, holy place to bring them to regular remembrance before Yahweh. And in the breast piece of judgment you shall put the Urim and the Thummim. And they shall be on Aaron's heart. And when he goes in before Yahweh, thus Aaron shall bear the judgment of the people of Israel on his heart before Yahweh regularly. You shall make the robe of the ephod of all blue. It shall have an opening for the head in the middle of it with a woven binding around the opening, like the opening of a garment, so that it may not tear. On its hem you shall make pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet yarns around its hem with bells of gold between them. A golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate around the hem of the robe. And it shall be on Aaron when he ministers. And its, shout, its sound should be heard when he goes into the holy place before Yahweh and when he comes out so that he does not die. You shall make a plate of pure gold and engrave on it like the engraving of a signet, holy to Yahweh. And you shall fasten it to the turban by a cord of blue. It shall be on the front of the turban. It shall be on Aaron's forehead. And Aaron shall bear any guilt from the holy things that the people of Israel consecrate, consecrate as their holy gifts. It shall regularly be on his forehead that they may be accepted before Yahweh. You shall, re you, you shall weave the coat in checker work of fine linen and you shall make a turban of fine linen and you shall make a sash embroidered with needlework. For Aaron's sons you shall make coats and sashes and caps, and you shall make them for glory and beauty, and you shall put them on Aaron your brother, and on his sons with him, and shall anoint them, and ordain them, and consecrate them, that they may serve me as priests. And you shall make for them linen undergarments to cover their naked flesh, that they shall reach from the hips to the thighs. And they shall be on Aaron and on his sons when they go into the tent of meeting, or when they come near the altar to minister to, in the holy place, lest they bear guilt and die. This shall be a statute forever for him, and for his offspring after him. Now this is what you shall do to them to consecrate them, that they may serve me as priests. Take one bull out of the herd and two rams without blemish, and unleavened bread unleavened cakes mixed with oil and unleavened wafers smeared with oil and you shall make them of fine wheat flour and you shall put them in one basket and bring them in the basket and bring the bull and the two rams and you shall bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance of the tent of meeting and wash them with water you shall take the garments and put on Aaron the coat and the robe of the ephod in the ephod and the breast piece, and gird him with the skillfully woven band of the ephod, and you shall set the turban on his head and put the holy crown on the turban. And you shall take the anointing oil and pour it on his head and anoint him. Then you shall bring his sons and put coats on them, and you shall gird Aaron and his sons with the sashes and bind caps on them. 
and the priesthood shall be theirs by a statute forever. Thus you shall ordain Aaron and his sons. Then you shall bring the bull before the tent of meeting. Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the bull. Then you shall kill the bull before Yahweh at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And shall take part of the blood of the bull and put it on the horns of the altar with your finger. And the rest of the blood you shall pour out on the base of the altar. And you shall take all the fat that covers the entrails and a long lobe of the liver. And the two kidneys with the fat that is on them and burn them on the altar. But the flesh of the bull and its skin and its dung you shall burn with fire outside the camp. It is a sin offering. Then you shall take one of the rams, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram. And you shall kill the ram and shake. Oops. And you shall kill the blood and shall take its blood and throw it against the sides of the altar. Then you shall cut the ram into pieces and wash its entrails and its legs and put them with its pieces and its head and burn the whole ram on the altar. It is a burnt offering to Yahweh. It is a pleasing aroma, a food offering to Yahweh. You shall take the other ram, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram, and you shall kill the ram and take part of its blood and pour it at the tip and put it on the tip of the right ear of Aaron, and on the tips of the right ears of his sons, and on the thumb of their right hands, and on the great toes of their right feet, and throw the rest of the blood against the sides of the altar. And you shall take part of the blood that is on the altar and anoint, and of the anointing oil, and sprinkle it on Aaron and his garments, and on his sons and his sons' garments with him. He and his garments shall be holy, and his sons and his son's garments with him. You shall also take the fat from the ram, and the fat tail, and the fat that covers the entrails, and the long lobe of the river, liver, and the two kidneys with the fat that is on them, and the right thigh, for it is a ram of ordination, and one loaf of bread, and one cake of bread made with oil, and one wafer out of the basket of unleavened bread that is before Yahweh, and you shall put all these on the palms of Aaron and on the palms of his sons, and wave them for a wave offering before Yahweh. Then you shall take them from their hands and burn them on the altar on top of the burnt offering as a pleasing aroma before Yahweh. It is a food offering to Yahweh. You shall take the beasts of the ram of Aaron's ordination and wave it for a wave offering before Yahweh. And it shall be your portion, and you shall consecrate the beast of the wave offering that is waved in the thigh of the priest's portion that is contributed from the ram of ordination, from what was Aaron's and his sons, and it shall be for Aaron and his sons as a perpetual due from the people of Israel, for it is a contribution. It shall be a contribution from the people of Israel from their peace offerings, their contribution to Yahweh. The holy garments of Aaron shall be for his sons after him, and they shall be anointed in them and ordained in them and the sons who succeeds him as priests who comes in to the tent of meeting the minister in the holy place shall wear them seven days. You shall take the ram of ordination and boil its flesh in the holy place. And Aaron and his son shall eat the flesh of the ram and the bread that is in the basket of the entrance of the tent of meeting and they shall eat those things. With which atonement was made at their ordination and consecration. But an outsider shall not eat of them, because they are holy. And if any of the flesh for the ordination or of the bread remain until morning, then you shall burn the remainder with fire. It shall not be eaten, because it is holy. Thus you shall do to Aaron and to his sons, according to all that I have commanded you. Through seven days you shall ordain them. And every day you shall offer a bull as a sin offering for atonement, and you shall purify the, the altar. Then you, when you make atonement for it, and you shall anoint it to consecrate it. Seven days you shall make atonement for the altar, and consecrate it. But the holy, sorry, and the altar shall be most holy. Whoever touches the altar shall become holy. Now this is what you shall offer on the altar, two lambs a year old by day, 
a year old day by day regularly. One lamb you shall offer in the morning, and the other lamb you shall offer at twilight. And with the first lamb, a tenth of measure of fine flour mingled with a fourth of a hen of beaten oil, and a fifth, a fourth of a hen of wine for a drink offering. The other lamb you shall offer at twilight, you shall offer it with a grain offering and its drink offering. As in the morning, for a pleasing aroma, a food offering to Yahweh, it shall be regular burnt. Offering throughout your generations at the entrance of the tent of meeting before Yahweh. Where I will meet with you to speak to you there. There I will meet with the people of Israel, and it shall be sanctified by my glory. I will consecrate the tent of meeting and the altar, and Aaron also and his sons. I will consecrate to serve me as priests. I will dwell among the people of Israel and will be their God. And they shall know that I am Yahweh their Elohim. Who brought them out of the land of Egypt that I might dwell among them. I am Yahweh their Elohim. You shall make an altar on which to burn incense. You shall make it of acacia wood. A cubit shall be its length and a cubit its breadth. It shall be a square, and two cubits shall be its height. Its horn shall be of one piece with it. You shall overlay it with pure gold, its top around its edges and its horn. And you shall make a molding of gold around it. And you shall make two golden rings for it. Under its molding on the opposite sides of it, you shall make them. And they shall be holders for poles with which to carry it. You shall make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold, and you shall put it in front of the veil that is above the Ark of Testimony, in front of the mercy seat that is above the testimony where I meet with you. And Aaron shall burn fragrance, fragrant incense on it. Every morning when he dresses the lambs, he, sh he shall burn it. And when Aaron sets up the lamps at twilight, he shall burn it. A regular incense offering before Yahweh, Throughout your generation, you shall not offer an authorized incense on it, or a burnt offering, or a grain offering, and you shall not pour drink offering on it. Aaron shall make atonement on its horns once a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonement. He shall make atonement for it once in the year throughout your generations. It is most holy to Yahweh. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who chose us from all, who gave us the Torah of truth and set everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver the Torah. Bukat Adonai Elohim, Malach. Malach Elohim, Mashna Talunut, Torah Met Vaishi Elohim, Natabatik, and you Bukat Adonai Etin Atarah.